CBS 2 News this morning. POTUS has just released our list of 21 destinations to go in 2012, and we've covered a lot of emerging destinations and great value ones. Okay. Last summer, tourism was reintroduced to Cuba. What's fantastic, though, again, incredible jazz, great art, those fabulous cigars that we've all heard so much about, and vintage cars everywhere you go. Photos travel guide, we have Arabella Bowen here to tell us all about these unique and affordable ideas. Big, big news happening in Panama the last couple of years. Huge hotel boom. Trump opened his first international hotel there last year. Waldorf Astoria is coming. Sheraton, Weston, big names, great beaches. So your worst travel experience was? In Southeast Asia, where I discovered really, really large bugs that I had never seen before. <laughs> so by the end of the trip, I actually decided I was going to test my limits and eat some of them in Bangkok. <laughs> when they cook them, they actually still look like bugs. Oh, so yeah. yeah, you really, it's a test of will. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not like they made it to a sausage or something. No, that would have been nicer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. right. So what's in your carry-on? I've been traveling with this bag here for um, about 10 years, actually, and it fits anywhere on the plane. The iPad has been a godsend to me. The Kindle was actually my biggest concession this Christmas, even though I'm a big book reader, but imagine, I mean, yeah, four books on the plane. Books. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a lot of weight. And then my little guilty pleasure on the plane is Us and Star magazine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I always did through the, the, the magazine thing to see if somebody left one. That's right. You know, that's a nice thing to do. Well, After you've read yeah, it, leave it in that's there. That's what I do. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I leave it in there or I give it to the flight attendants. New York Nightly News. News with Chuck Scarborough. Of course, all eyes are going to be on London this summer as, uh, as the Olympics take place in late July. But there's a lot more to do there besides the sports. Uh, we are also recommending it for the incredible art scene. Uh, there's lots of Da Vinci exhibits going on right now. Kensington Palace reopening some gardens and the like. The family vacation sometimes can be the hardest things to plan because you're trying to please so many different people and keep everybody of different ages. So how do you do it? Well, actually, an important factor to consider is what the children want to do, uh, for sure, and how long you're going to be in the car as well. Um, yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and making sure you pack enough things to keep them all occupied in the back seat while you're driving places. But it's totally worth it once you've made the decision. I mean, they, their, family trips are always the you know trips of a lifetime, and you have right. fantastic memories. What about uh, something for the family that loves the outdoors? Loves the outdoors. Voyagers National Park in northern Minnesota is absolutely oh. fantastic. It's pristine waterways. You can go That's swimming. Beautiful. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. You can rent a houseboat up there for about $1,200 a week, which can sleep the entire family. And of course, you pack up all your groceries, you can cook on the boat, you can go paddling, swimming. It's the perfect outdoor adventure for the summer. The great thing about Croatia is that it's not on the Euro, so you're already going to have savings there. Uh -huh. And Istria is like Tuscany without the crowds. So imagine hillside villages, vineyards, and great cuisine with truffles. You've got a tough job, Arabella, traveling around the world looking for excitement. <laughs> got one of the best jobs out there. <laughs>